Hello everyone, this is a sort of follow-up to the video I made on $20 fake airpods, but since I actually did end up purchasing that, my AliExpress recommendations are just flooded with fake airpods, which is how I stumbled across these, which are $3 fake airpods. Technically, they're not really $3, you gotta pay $2 shipping, or you gotta buy $10 worth of crap, but I'm gonna call this video $3 fake airpods. They arrived in a very nondescript plastic bag that came with a very short USB-A to lightning cable, an instruction manual, and the earbuds themselves. The manual is literally three pages long, and the earbuds do have media control. They're pretty simple to figure out. So unlike those $20 fake AirPods, these are very unremarkable. These do not have any writing anywhere, especially on the back, where usually it'll say something about designed by Apple in California. They are a clone of AirPods Pro Gen 1, which is why there's nothing on the bottom, and it uses a lightning cable. Their fake sync button doesn't really do anything, it just lights up the front. The battery indicator looks really fake, because there's no material covering it. It's a direct hole that looks into an LED. There's no material in the front that diffuses the light, like on the real AirPods. Now the hinge is surprisingly decent. There's no squeaking like those $20 fakes. Now on the top here, you can see there's some holographic sticker. There's also no writing or symbols on the top part. If you look at this from the front, you can tell that these are super fake. There's all this wasted room, and the AirPods don't even sit right. You can see how, you know, they're supposed to sit flush. Now, when I take them out of the case, they have this very large and very fake red LED. Unlike the $20 fakes, people will probably notice that there's something wrong with these. These earbuds will show up on your device as just TWS, and unlike the $20 fakes, they will not show up on your Apple devices as genuine AirPods. They have a touch sensor on the front, which is how you access your media controls, and that's pretty much it for the earbuds. There's nothing else on here. They don't have a proximity sensor or anything fancy like that. Now, as for this case, this is a generic pair of earbuds that were made to look like AirPods Pro. These are not compatible with actual AirPods Pro, and it's just a case that's designed to look like AirPods Pro cases. This is what they look like with the ear tips out, and again, they're super fake. They don't even look remotely close to what the actual AirPods drivers should look like. I'm going to record the rest of the audio on these earbuds so you get a better sense of what they sound like. Now, I am about a foot away from the earbuds, so keep that in mind. That's why they'll probably sound like crap. Okay, so how do these sound? They don't sound good, which is a lot coming from me, because I, for the most part, I don't care about sound, right? I'm fine with generic $1 earbuds. As long as they make noise and I'm entertained by whatever media I'm consuming, I'm fine with whatever sound is coming out of my earbuds. But even I can tell, this is too crappy. Uh, they've got a ton of bass, there's no clarity. Do I need to say more? They're, they're super bad, right? I mean, they are $3. What did I expect, to be honest? As for battery life, these earbuds last one and a half to two hours. That is just flat out terrible. I don't think I really need to say more. Good earbuds can last at least six to eight hours, but these last two hours, and they don't have anything premium going on either. So am I surprised by how bad they are? I mean, not really. I did pay $3, so I guess that was to be expected. Also, the case fully recharges them a single time before you have to recharge the case. So yeah, th these things are not worth buying. If you're buying it for a fun novelty, like, hey, I bought fake $3 AirPod Pros, then sure, you can buy them for that. But these earbuds are just not worth it. You should not buy these ever. Oh, I forgot to mention Bluetooth range. For the most part, they're fine. They can last around 10 feet away from you. I started getting cutouts around 20 feet away, but 